Alright. Hi everybody, this is Jim with YouTube user Jim Lee Elevators. You still remember this Asian elevator floor position indicator that I did a review on a while back? Well, I'm going to be showing you the second part on how to wire this thing up. I already showed you the first part where you like, where you like, uh, um, tap in the positive wire and each of these segment lines in the arrow lights up. This time, I'm going to be showing you how to get more than one of these indicators to light up. There are like two ways to do this. Like, um, you could get like a maximum of three indicators to light up. And second of all, you could also get the rest of these to light up, which I'm going to show you how. In order to do that, you're going to have to have the second wire right here is what I call it. So, what you're going to need to do is you take this main wire right here is what I call it. And your second wire right here. And what you do is you just place it on there. And you twist it. Like this. See? You just twist it on there. As for my case, I'll put in the up. Before I put, before I stick it in there, as you see, I just I just smaller it up a little because it was too big for me to fit inside this hole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it in, and we're gonna tighten it up with the screw. All right, it's tightened up. Things, this thing's kind of slippery, so you're, you're going to have to press it down a little harder. Alright, so I got that. See, it's now tightened up. So, what you're going to do is, you have two pointers right here. You got the you got the red one, and then the blue one. We are first going to switch it on, and I will demonstrate how to do this. So, what you're going to need to do is plug in your power supply. Before I do that, um, you see, see, see right here, this is what the power source is. Just pause, you want to read that. Alright, let's go ahead and plug it on. Look at that. See, look at this. The up arrow is lit. Let me turn off the lamp. See, now you can get a better view. What do you guys think of that? And what you, what you can do is, you take this second wire right here and if you want all you can do is just is just tap onto these screw right here and watch they light up look at that what do you guys think see look at that is isn't this just amazing see just lights up when you when you tap it let's see if we can see if it works if, if you press it down there oh yes it does look at that pretty cool and as with this red wire, you can do the same thing too. See, look at that. The down arrow lights up. Pretty cool, isn't it? You can do you can do the same thing, the exact same thing with this too. Just basically the same way, no matter which. Now, if you if you like, you can also do this. Press this in. And this, now watch. Look at that right there. See, look. I just plugged in the number one. See, this is like what you see on a real elevator right there. See, I just made that number one. Look at that. What do you guys think? Isn't that just amazing? I'm sorry that, 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 that the number is flickering. The None of them is burnt out. It's just, it's just that you have to press in this really, really hard order to get to work. So... Now you see what it is? Now, how to make more than three indicators light up. What you're going to need to do is you take your bending wire. This is what I call a bending wire right here. See? And what you do is just you, you just plug it in to each of these control boards and each of these indicator 
the segment lines or these arrow will light up. Like as for this up arrow, see, it's it's uh, plugged right there. Once the camera will focus, see, that is where it hooked onto the up and it lights up. See, pretty simple. Now before we get started, let me turn on the main light again. First, we're going to unplug it. There we go. All right, so now that I unplugged it, so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna take this bending wire right here. You see how it's all crooked and all that, unlike this one is? Well, that's because I just hooked it on there like uh, for a while and I just took it off about hours ago. So just so I can show you how this is supposed to work. So what you're gonna need to do is if you wanna make all of these light up, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to fill in this entire row right here. See, you're gonna have to fill in this entire row. So what I'm gonna show you is how to hook this thing on. So you take this wire right here and what you're gonna need to do is plug it inside there. As for my case, I'm gonna first start with the down. So you poke this inside there. Make sure, let me try to, try to straighten this up a little so it goes in without falling out. That goes in. And next what you do is you take the screwdriver and you tighten it up. All right, what you're gonna, what you're gonna need to do is tighten, is hold, is hold it tightly while you're screwing it on because this, this could, this screw, this, um, this wire could slip off real easily. You're gonna have to tighten the screw and hold on to the bending wire tightly until you tighten this screw up. All right, let's make sure it doesn't fall out. Okay, it's, it's held up very, very well. So now you got the down hooked on. Now, if you want to hook the next part on, what you need to do is you, you have to bend it and then you try to shove it in there. All right, so I squeeze a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is you're gonna shove it in there. And then you close it up by tightening the screw. So as you see right here, I just got this screwed up. You see, both of these bending wires are hooked up tightly. Now the rest, I'm gonna be doing this all by myself and I will get back to you when I'm done. So in other words, I'm gonna be doing this off camera, but y'all guys should know what it is that, that, that I already just showed you the first two parts. So let me hook this on all by myself and I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, finally got all the wires put on there. See, I wired everything up and now let's hook it on and see what happens. Let's plug it in. Well, I wonder why is it still showing the up arrow that is lit, but not the whole entire number segment line. Well, I see why, because what you wanna do is, last but not least, you plug this inside there. You plug this, you plug this um, last edge of this bending wire into the blue wire cover. So we're gonna do that, plug it in there. Look at that. Wow, I lit up all the indicator, wow. Let me turn off the main light. What do you guys think of this? Man, isn't this amazing? What do you guys think? I put a lot of progress in this work, wow. Isn't this just amazing? What you can do is you can also make numbers out of these. You just, all you have to do is just, you unplug one of these slots and it'll make like a certain number. But what I did is I just uh, made everything light up. What do you guys think? Isn't, th isn't this just wonderful? See, as you see right here, I put a lot of progress on me, like uh, hooking up every single one of them. I just showed you the first beginning parts and I did the rest all by myself. But you guys get the idea as you can see right here. See, 
it's all lit and if you want to turn it off you just simply unplug it and that turns off except for that because this is hooked on let's try that let's try this again let's let's uh, power it on oh it just did see just plug it in and that turns on if you want to turn it off you just unplug it we'll do that one more time look at that look at that <laughs> I love it this is amazing another thing you could also you can also hook onto this red wire and it'll light up as well see it lights up see you connect it on and it just lights up see once this camera will get to focus look at that isn't this just wonderful anyways like I always say you could you could um make numbers by using this all like I said what you have to do is just you have to unplug each of these certain holes which I'm gonna make that for part three so anyways I hope you enjoy this part two of this Asian elevator floor position indicator wiring tutorial according to Indonesia lift 3000 this is what he thinks is a Caesar elevator, not Caesar Otis, Caesar, pure Caesar, X I Z I, which is an Asian elevator company overseas. So, anyways, with that being said, this is going to conclude the video. And as always, like what Fire Alarms and Such says, YouTube user Fire Alarms and Such says this. As always, have a wonderful day.